Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about one of the new task that is uh, relevant to when we do the implementation projects for the clients, especially for accounts payable model. So today I'm going to show one of the test case. How should we write or how should we create a uh, test case for the business scenario okay so that is the uh, content today so here i kept as how to create a test case for fees and favors invoice functionality okay so if you look at on the screen so this is required when you working with the implementation project and uh, so when you like you know uh, start writing or creating uh, test cases for the accounts payable model and this is one of the test case what i uh, like discussing here so test case number uh, step numbers and then uh, test data and uh, expected results so these are the three different uh, uh, like steps we need to perform while creating the test case here i would say other other thing also so we need to get the, the right credentials uh, to create a test data or I'm just a test script. So here, if you look at the step one, navigate payables and uh, select invest tab, click on invest tab, click on task panel and enter business unit uh, details and choose supplier, enter uh, distribution details, go to action tab and uh, validate invoice run create accounting. These are the steps we need to perform in order to create invoice in to end of flow of that, accepting invoice approvals, right? What is the meaning of test data? Test data is nothing but wherever we need to get or like you know, infuse the data while while creating a test script. So that's where we need to use the test data. Example, so here I mentioned that select BU. If you want to hard coded any of the business unit the specific one where we have the multiple business unit then the business team will uh, give the the proper uh, uh, business unit details under supplier also if you want to uh, run the this uh, test case the specific bu specific supplier then they can provide the test data test data is nothing but what test data uh, provided during the uh, execute this test scenario so that is what this play the very key role in the testing point of view okay and uh, the third thing is here expected result so once you enter or once you perform this uh, step one so what would be the your expected result has to come as part of the testing so that's what we kept we can like uh, keep here so these are the three buckets is most important while we create test cases so as per this business scenario so we will see that like you know, how to create uh, all of these things and all. So we, I will go by uh, demo. So once you log into application with the respect to user credentials, so you can see here, it will come as a uh, user credentials over here and go to navigator. Uh, you can see the under payables, invoice tab. So that's what I kept here. Navigate payables, select invoice tab. Result is display invest tab. And once you see this one, right here, I can see that's what I kept here. Once click on invest tab, invest page will open. So this is the invest page and click on task panel. So click on create invoice. So that's what I kept here. Click on task panel. So the result is that open task panel to click on create invoice. So once click on that, so the create invest screen will get open. So that's what here. Enter business unit details and choose supplier. What is the test data I kept here? Select BU and supplier. So here, since I have only two business or multiple business units, I can go for the uh, specific uh, US business one. US business unit. And uh, supplier, I can select any one of the one here, APC. Yeah, invoice number. Sometimes also like in, we can uh, uh, we can write as another step here under this one. You can give the invoice number specific one. Or it's not required at all. Just you can do invoice number saying that and you know, INV zero zero or something like that. Ten dollars. Okay, and uh, 
So go to line details. Select amount ten dollars. Distribution. So here I kept as enter distribution details, right? Which is nothing but as a choose jail strings. So since we have here the distribution set and the distribution code combination as well as you can choose which is the uh, easy for you to like and capture the data. But ideally, when you work with the client, they should give the proper uh, GL string combination over here, or like you know, we can give the any the specific way of code combination over here that you can choose it up. So our present demo purpose, I am selecting as uh, distribution set. Yeah, once you selected. And once you selected, then you can say here and save record. Save. So it will take a while time to save it. So since it is a demo instance, right? So that uh, there, there could be possible where like you know the tax also is applicable. So let me go ahead and click on validate. So this is another step what I mentioned here. I go to action tab and uh, click on validate. That's what I did here in my section and uh, click on the validate here, right? So since it is already, uh, we click on validate tab, it is taking some time to do the validation. Go here, uh, $10.95, $10.95 is the total value. And go to inverse action and validate. The result is that it must it must get validated. So it got validated here. You can see the status under the validate tab. Here you can see validation is validated. So once that is done, then what is the last step? Run create accounting. So go to inverse action, and here you can see account draft or post ledger. That's what I kept as here. Uh, result is draft or final mode, and interest will get generated. Just go here, click on post to ledger, which is nothing but as a final mode of the account entries get generated. Yes. So sometimes, like you know, the clients also will ask us to uh, like you know, see the end or last step also, right? You can say last step also here. Uh, says that. Well, review, review accounting entries. So this is the other thing you can keep as, yes. maybe like clients also will ask the same thing again. So we can keep here, result is there. So generate a review. Yeah, so here you can see view accounting, right? Just click on view accounting. So this is where you can see all the accounting and discard template for the invoice or uh, AP advice. Okay. So if you want to see another thing here, the transfer to GL also. You can see the general batch here. Transfer date is that 320 and line description. This is what based on the root set it got uh, uh, generated and accounting period so and so. This is the generated batch. So likewise, we can create our own like a steps for the business cycle, business cases while do the implementation. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe and like and share with uh, your uh, peers and colleagues and like you know, so, so it will get like you know, uh, reach to as many IT professionals who is working on the uh, Oracle Cloud Finance Financial Consultant. So it may be helpful for them. Thanks for watching my video once again.